Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Stasma here for a new episode of Schlappy Patching. In this one, I want to talk to you about a quite simple thing, but that can be very efficient. Velocity or volume control. The changes of loudness over time. To extend on that, have a look at panning as well, because panning is basically just a change of volume on the left or the right channel. Okay, let's get going with a simple example. I've made that very simple 4-4 beat, sequenced by the nibbler triggering my 880 over there. This is all very mechanical because there's no volume changes at all. So what I want to do is apply some volume changes on this hi-hat. So what do I need for this? I need a VCA. So I'm going to patch this to a boundary. and back to the output. So I could, for example, cycle this boundary. And have it to control the volume, which is already quite cool. This can give us some unsynced groove. That seem to changes sort of all the time. Let's actually have a look at all this on data. So the green one is the input. You can see that it doesn't change. The moving red trace is the modulation. And the blue one is the result. You can see that the volume of this blue trace is moving around according to the movement of the red one. Let's put the rest back. And now we could decide to use something else than this boundary. And what I want to use is step voltages from the nibbler. What's fun about this is that it is going to be dependent on the setting of the switches on the nibbler. And I like this kind of organic relationship between things. You could also decide to dedicate another nibbler just to this. And from there, we could also decide to apply this to other sounds. We could do it on another drum sound, but or actually on the overall mix. So I've sent the overall 808 mix.
to the 100 grit, which will also add some color to this. And we can use the second step voltage. It's already offset, it, which is interesting. If we have no offset, they will all move at the same time. So the emphasis will be on the same moment in the pattern. But if we start to change the phase, we can get some sort of different results. be easier to hear with some more sounds. Also if I don't add any offset and use only the step voltages to control the volume with nothing if there's no voltages. This is quite weird. And I like it. Let's try to add some sort of a sequence to this. boundary you can also use the bound input to modify at the same time the length and the output of the envelope which can result in some quite fun changes like this As I mentioned earlier, we could try to use some stereo thing. Let's remove that clap. I'm going to use that weird boom 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 boom. Instead of patching it straight in mono to my output, I'm going to send it to two boundaries. different modulation, each going to left and right. And from here it can be fun to use once again step voltages.
lots of fun stuff to try with this kind of setup. No doubt not necessarily weirdo haunted castle techno like right now. Let's add more feedback to this and see what happens. Here's quickly a few more focused examples. Here I have that FM sequence that has two elements basically. This is my volume envelope. It affects only the loudness of the sound. According to this timing. Then I have this, which is my timber envelope that's controlling the phase modulation on the tree body. It's directly patched in here. A fun way to affect this in the schlappy system when you are using the boundary as your envelope generator is the bound input. I've shown the effect earlier in the video, but let's go again for it. Here is one step voltage from a nibbler that is going to control the bound input of the loudness VCA. I love it because it also affects the timing of the envelope and it's sort of an input that you don't really always know what it's going to do. And it's, it's an experimental one, I'd say but it often yields very cool results. Let's use the second step voltage to control this one. So as the two phase offset switch here are down, basically we have the same step voltage controlling both bound inputs. and change its pattern, basically, by flipping the switches. And if we change the phase, we will have different changes in the loudness and in the timber. a bit of echo and reverb. Let's go back to something simpler like this, and let's go again on the panning thing. Again, in a more focused example. I'm going to take this output. Actually, the final output after the envelope. Actually, it's here. Let's send it to the two remaining boundaries. This one will be left. And this one, right? So. Okay, I'm plugged upside down, but that doesn't matter. Now let's control this one side with one of the step voltage. So now this is just volume modulation on one side, right? But 
as both are out of phase. Controlling both with the two results in a ping pong pattern. And changing the phase relationship will get us different stuff. Some different overlapping moment. are in phase we basically have volume modulation and the stereo doesn't matter anymore was a short exploration of volumes and panning controlled by step voltages from Nibbler and cycling functions by the boundary. I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.